Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to make the promised video. So in one of my last videos I promised to test out some cheap Geiger counters which you can buy for $100 or less on Amazon. And yeah, unfortunately now because of insane world politics we are as close to nuclear uh, war as we have ever been in history. So I believe that a Geiger counter is probably the most important prep right now. And even if you are not getting it for nuclear war, um, I think it's wise to have one because we have a lot of nuclear power plants in the world and you know with Murphy's law things are going to happen. So we already had Chernobyl and Fukushima and I think it's only a matter of time until there will be another accident or might be one, who knows. So I rather want to be prepared than sorry. Now the question of this video is is it really important to buy such an expensive Geiger counter or can you get away with one of the cheaper ones? And that is the video topic of the day. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these products, uh, brands. So I bought all of these Geiger counters myself and we are going to compare it to the really expensive one by the company Gamma Scout. And yeah, first I want to show you each of the Geiger counters. We will discuss the cost and the properties of the Geiger counters and then we will test it out with a real radioactive source. Okay, so these are the Geiger counters that I've bought and I made sure that I chose models which are available on Amazon US but also on Amazon in Germany. Okay, I want to start this review with the first Geiger counter. This is the PR6 model which cost me 80 euros and it claims to be able to detect some beta and gamma radiation. So that's really important. You always want to have beta and gamma because gamma alone is not enough. And then it says it has a Geiger-Müller tube and that's really important. So you only want to get Geiger counters with a Geiger-Müller tube. It also seems to be a dosimeter which is a great feature. But today we are going to focus on the detection itself. So let's open up the box of the BR6. It says it can detect beta, gamma and x-rays. Okay, it only can detect um, radiation up to 100 microsieverts per hour. So that's not um, really good. <laughs> Funny. Welcome. Model VR6 version 3.0. Key description. This key is for mute particle sound and alarm sound. The play key is for average reset retest. And this is light on or off. Okay, here you can see the uh, current radiation, uh, 0.1. So that's a normal background radiation. Uh, this is that you have anywhere on the world. And then here um, you can see a graph of what the device is measuring, which is great. So I really like that. And then also here you have the accumulated microsieverts per hour. So this is basically the um, display for the dosimeter. Okay, so first uh, I want to measure the radiation with the Gamma Scout and then we compare the value with the other cheaper Geiger counters. So just for your information, this is the box that the Gamma Scout comes in. It gives you a very detailed description. And the great thing about this Geiger counter is that it cannot only measure beta and gamma, but it also can measure alpha radiation. So here you can see different settings. Uh, I can choose beta and gamma radiation or I can go to the next window which is gamma radiation only or if I go to the very right the Geiger Müller tube is completely open and this is also 
going to measure alpha radiation. Now to make a good comparison with the other Geiger counters, I'm going to set this Geiger counter to beta and gamma radiation because the other devices that I want to test today also only can detect beta and gamma radiation. To make a fair comparison, we want to have the same setting here on this Geiger counter. Okay, so what I have here in my bag is a radioactive watch, which I found on a flea market in Vienna. So back in the 1920s, they were producing um, luminescent paint, which happened to be radioactive. So these watches are kind of dangerous, um, but I'm lucky that I have one now because now I can test my Geiger counter. Okay, so now I want to measure the radioactivity of this watch from different distances. So I want to measure the radioactivity as close as possible to the watch, then also from 10 centimeters, from 20, 30 and 40. Okay, so now I'm far away from the watch and you can see the normal background reading of both of the Geiger counters is now 0.1 microsieverts per hour. So that's actually pretty accurate for this one. Okay, now let's start the test. Okay, 40 centimeters is too far away. It doesn't do... Uh, it detects a little bit of radiation, but almost nothing. I don't think it makes sense to do a test from here. So let's start at 30, 30 centimeters from the watch. Okay, now it's detecting a little bit of radiation. We have 0 0.16 microsieverts. Now we go to 20 centimeters. So here we have 0 0.18 or 19. Ah, 0 0.2 now. 0 0.2. Now let's go to 10 centimeters. Okay, at 10 centimeters I get 0 0.78-ish. So it jumps around a little bit. So let's write down 0 0.75. Okay, now let's go to zero. Directly on the watch right now, there's um, this plastic bag in between the watch and the Geiger counter. Last time I got 25 microsieverts. Let's see how much we get today. Okay, so because um, it's not detecting alpha particles, only beta and gamma. This is why I only get 18 or 20 microsieverts. Okay, so this was the gamma scout. Uh, and now we will compare the values to the um, BR6 Geiger counter. Okay, we will start at 40 centimeters again. So that's 0 0.15. Okay, now we get even less than before. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, sometimes the Geiger counters, they go up and down. Let's come closer to 20 centimeters. Okay, it doesn't seem to detect anything. Now with the Gamma Scout, we got 0 0.2 at 20 centimeters. Now we're still at 0 0.1. Oh, now it's going up. Maybe it's just slower. 0 0.16. Okay, let's come closer again. 10 centimeters. This was when we had 0 0.75 at the Gamma Scout. I tried to use it like this. Maybe it's detecting more radiation. Now the radiation increases. So now we have 0 0.36, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now it's giving us an alarm that was at 0 0.5 microsieverts per hour. Let's see if we can change the sound. Okay, it seems as if um, 0 0.5 ish is what we get at 10 centimeters. Yeah, and now let's come as close as possible to the sensor. Let's see, maybe like this. Okay, I have to turn around the camera so you can read this. 
we get 1.7 microsieverts right now. Okay, so the highest value that I got was 2 microsieverts, 2.0. At this distance, the gamma scout gave us 17.5 to 19 microsieverts, so that's quite a difference. Okay, the next Geiger counter that I want to test is the one that I got for 86 euros. It says radiation detector. It says it's going to measure X-rays, beta and gamma rays. Let's see. This is called NR750. Okay, so at 40 centimeters I get a reading of 0 0.12. That's the normal background radiation again. Now let's go to 30 centimeters. 24 even. Oh, 0 0.3. Okay. That's the highest we got so far. Now let's move on to 20 centimeters again. 0 0.47. Okay, now it's giving me an alarm. It was acting pretty quickly, so that's good. There was not a lot of delay or lag. Now we are at 10 centimeters and we get 0 0.9. So the highest that I got was one microsievert. That's pretty good. The Gamma Scout had 0 0.75. And now let's come as close as possible to the watch. Okay, unfortunately it does not clamp up, so the reading still says 1.2 at the highest. Let's do it like this. Ooh, now we are Oh my god, it's going up now. Oh my god, look at that. 10 microsieverts, 11. Yes, 15. Woo, 16. 17. 18, 19. Wow, 21.9 was the highest reading that we got. 21.9. So that's pretty good. So that means it's also measuring the beta radiation. Just trying to figure out where the Geiger Müller tube is, but it seems to be on the left side. So here I get the highest reading. So that was really, really good. Um, this Geiger counter gave us almost the same reading as the Gamma Scout, but it only cost like um, 80 euros. Wow, I'm really surprised and impressed. I can definitely recommend this model. It is reacting quickly, much more quickly than this one here. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Now I still want to try this one again and I want to set it on the watch like this and then I want to see if the reading increases because maybe the sensor is somewhere in the middle and then uh, I just want to check again if we really only get like um, two microsieverts out of this one. So the highest that I got was about seven microsieverts with this uh, BR6 radiation detector. So that's much lower than the value that we got from the Gamma Scout, which was between 17 and 19 microsieverts. So here we have 7 or 6.4 right now. So this Geiger counter, I don't know what's up with this one, but it seems to like react more slowly. And also it's not measuring maybe all of the beta radiation. So that's quite a difference from to what we got with the Gamma Scout.
Yeah, I got the same value as before. Now I'm measuring 18 microsieverts. So. so yeah, it really seems as if this device is slower in reaction and also it's not measuring all of the radiation. Um, it's still working though, so you can still detect radiation but not as like good as with this one. So yeah, I gotta say that I'm really impressed with this uh, Geiger counter. I think it's amazing. It's reacting super fast and also it detected even more radiation than the Gamma Scout. So this is definitely a device that I can recommend. Uh, really good and it's important that you measure the radiation somewhere here at the left side. And here I got the most out of the device. Okay, so yeah. I'm really impressed by this Geiger counter. The next Geiger counter that I want to show you is this one. It cost me 103 euros. Now let's check it out. Okay, unfortunately this device is not working. I don't know what's wrong. Let's open up this Geiger counter and find out what the problem is. Maybe we can see something, a contact or other mistake, error. So here we can also see that the Geiger Müller tube is on the left side. So let's quickly open up this Geiger counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the orange one is completely different. It seems to have a more complicated circuit and it also has a bigger Geiger Müller tube. So this is the orange one, the NR750. It has a huge Geiger Müller tube M4011 2022. It's from this year even. So this one is massive and it's also at the left side of the Geiger counter. So this is why I got a lot of reading here. It seems to have a little bit of a more complicated circuit than this one. Unfortunately, this device is not working. I cannot see any mistake with the contact also, so I cannot repair this thing. I'm going to send it back to Amazon. Um, yeah, while we are at it, I also want to open up this Geiger counter. So this is the BR6. Okay. So this seems to have the same Geiger Müller tube as the other one, but it's covered with some kind of plastic. So maybe this cover is the reason why we did not detect as much radiation, because this is some very thick plastic and um, I will try to cut this off now. Okay, now this Geiger Müller tube has a different name, but it looks the same as the other one here. This one is called J321 Beta Gamma XR HH 2022 0. Interesting. Now, this one is the smallest one here. Unfortunately, I cannot test it because the Geiger counter does not work. Yeah, so unfortunately, I have to send this back to Amazon. It's broken. I definitely want to have my 103 euros back. Okay, at last I want to test this Geiger counter, which is the model FS600. It cost 102 euros on Amazon. Um, it also says it can detect X-rays, beta and gamma radiation. Okay, so this is by the company Bosian. This also has a Geiger Müller tube, which is protected with a shrink tube. Okay, let's quickly do a test with this Geiger counter and then we will see what the radiation is. Okay, at least this one is working. But before we test this one, I first want to do another test with the white one. I want to see if we detect more radiation now, uh, because I have cut off the plastic. Now, what I've noticed is that the case of the Geiger counter is really thick. In my opinion, it's unnecessary thick because the Geiger Müller tube sits here 
but then there's like one and a half centimeters of space which is not used so I cannot even come close enough to the watch uh, to have the same distance as with this one so I think that's that's not good when it comes to the case and you want to come as close as possible to the radioactive object with your Geiger Müller tube of course okay now let's do the test again I will take the watch like this put it directly on the Geiger counter let's see if we get more than a couple of micro sieverts okay the last time we had seven micro sieverts now we have 6.4 let's see if it's more if I hold it like this yeah unfortunately that did not solve the problem it really seems as if this white Geiger counter is not as good as the others but now let's try out this one here the FS 600 okay between 40 and 30 there's not a lot of difference we have 0.13 um, and 14 of radiation let's go to 20 let's go to 10 this is almost not reacting so we are at 10 centimeters and we only have a slightly higher value than before the gamma scout at this distance already had 0 0.75 so that's not good now let's come closer oh my god this device is even more bad than the white one <laughs> we only have 0 0.35 micro sieverts per hour two micro sieverts 2.6 this is really bad even the white device is better than this one. Oh my god don't buy this I also wouldn't buy this here um, I definitely would buy this one because this gave me almost the same readings as the gamma scout in fact I could not spot any difference and this only cost 85 euros so I will give back both of these devices uh, this is the only one that I'm going to keep because it's really worth it it gives really accurate readings it reacts fast and for this price it's amazing I can definitely recommend the NR750 by the company Budibai and this here is just trash this is the greatest trash that I've ever seen and this is a little bit better trash but also not good so if I were you guys I would grab this Geiger counter immediately um, because I feel that after this review they might double the price but get this device I can highly recommend it to you it's the best it's really really good so this one is going to go into my EDC and this one is going to go into my Faraday cage which I want to show you right now so this is my Faraday cage in here I keep a small power bank and a solar panel and this is where I also keep my gamma scout all right guys so this is it for today I really want to thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure that you are subscribing to my channel stay tuned